Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me today. This is Marilyn Gale. Now today's story is coming from the Celebrity Insider. I have not used this site before so we're going to give it a try. It's uh, about Gail. Um, Gail is uh, Oprah's best friend, Gail King. And she tells about the time that she caught her friend in bed with the ex-husband. And the only reason why I'm bringing this out is because of the Chloe, Chloe, Chloe Kardashian story. Um, and, she, you know, a couple of people have commented. I know Tamar kind of commented on the experience she had. So I just uh, read it. Uh, the article and, you know, cause I found it. Let me see what Gail has to say. What experience has she had? So, um, let me start this article. It says, just a second, let me get it for you. It said the celebrity world has been in shock for the fa- past few days. And two horrible events have been keeping the headlines of the most important magazines. First of all, there's a tragedy that hit rapper T.I.'s family with the death of his beloved sister, Precious Harris. And then there's the unexpected cheating in the Kardashian family. As you know by now, it seems that Kyle... Kylie, I'm sorry, Jenner's BFS Jordan Wood made out with Khloe Kardashian's baby daddy, Tristan Thompson. Let me just stop right there. Okay, we're, we're talking about cheating. We're talking about people, um, getting caught cheating and it tells about, um, you know, uh, Khloe, but it mentions T.I. and it says that Two horrible events have been in the headlines. Okay, now, why they brought or compared someone dying in a car accident, losing their life, the family is devastated, Uh, people are saying T.I. is inconsolable, and then compare it cheating uh, Tristan and Chloe's incident as far as cheating. I don't get why they did that. That's, I don't even want to say that's apples and oranges because you don't compare someone losing their life, uh, and it was, was, uh, you know, unresponsive in the hospital and ICU for, for a while and then compare it to the Kardashians. Cause Chloe's going to be all right. Tristan's going to be all right. He's going to live another day to cheat. Chloe's going to live another day to uh, get another basketball player or some type of athlete, you know, uh, and and steal somebody else's man. They're, They're going to get past all that. Precious Harris is has passed away. So I just wanted to get off, uh, get, get that off my chest to, to see why either those two were compared. Cause it, it, okay, let me finish the article. Uh, e- and even if it has been reported that Chloe dumped him a few days ago before this happened is still wrong. And Jordan broke an essential girl code. Come on, let's get to, let's get to Gail King. Here we go. This event might have triggered bad memories for a lot of people who have been cheated throughout their life. One of them seems to be Gail King, who just opened up about an experience that completely shaped how she views friendships, the Shade Room notes. TSR writes that granted Her and her bestie, hashtag Oprah, can laugh at the situation now, but at the time, I'm sure it was heartbreaking. In a web series called hashtag the OG Chronicles, Gail spoke about her ex-husband cheating on her with a friend back in the 1990s. The CBS anchor said she basically walked in on her friend and husband at the time in bed together. But catch this tea. This friend had the nerve to tell Gail, I never liked you, when she got caught, caught. 
Someone tells Gail to stick with Oprah, Oprah Gail in life. You're blessed to find one authentic, genuine friend. That's true. Another commenter said, Oprah would never do such things and Gail would never do such things. We broke people need another topic to talk about. Shaking my head. Someone else noted that this is not a good Black History Month for my black people. February is a sad and the worst month of all. Sorry. I don't I don't know if I read that right, but anyway. And it just goes, the article just goes on, people just commenting and uh but uh, just to go back to Gail for a minute, <laughs> when she called her, the girl said, I didn't like you anyway. Now, I'm do- I'm going to make this video short, uh, only because it is not much to the article anyway. But I just want to say one thing. Sometimes, a lot of times, do not have your girlfriends around your man, please. Even if you think she's a good guy, girl, he's a good guy, don't throw them into situations a lot. Don't bring, don't, don't, you know, and you would think, okay, this is my best friend. I can trust her. Or this is my man. I can trust him. Famous last words. It would just save you a lot of grief if you don't throw them into situations, um, you know, when you're with your good friend, you know, uh, be with your good friend, don't rent the back house out and, you know, thrown together with your man and um, don't just make the both of them accessible to each other. That to me, that's just, you know, you can have best friends and okay, you have birthday parties and it may be a moment or two where they're in the, in the same room or they're together. But, and, and some people would probably say, well, you shouldn't have that girlfriend. Or you shouldn't have that guy. If you can't trust her, it's not about trust. Sometimes you got to do, you know, just, just, um, make some common sense decisions where how well do you know anyone you know so uh Kylie's friend was supposed to be her best friends and you know part of the family lived in in Kylie's back house so you would think nothing would happen and I I don't even know if this uh, particular story about Gil like I said this is my first time using Celebrity Insider um usually Gil and Oprah are very transparent about their lives. And I'm not saying that Gail didn't say this because, but I had not heard this, um, you know, listening to Gail and listening to Oprah, you know, tell a certain incidents in their life. I had not heard any of them, you know, ever mention that. And, and not saying she didn't, I just didn't hear it. So I just stand with my opinion is kind of, uh, you know, have your girlfriends when you do your girl stuff, you know, and, and don't always throw your, your good girlfriend and your man together. And that's just my, my opinion. You guys might have a different opinion and I'd like to hear it. I just think it doesn't, um, you know, you, you just, it, it, I hear so many stories about good friends messing with their good friend's man. So evidently there is a problem with it. So anyway, I'm going to end the video right there. Thank you for listening and joining me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click that notification bell. And I'll be back to give you another story. And have a good rest of the week. Thank you for joining me. Good night.